Today I want to talk about something near and dear to my heart. Flags. There's several stories here on this table. I want to start this off with an interesting story that occurred last Friday. We were at the game and it was a red, white, and blue theme. In other words, bring your <laughs> red, white, and blue clothes. But some of the students were carrying around flags. And they were pretty proud of the flags. Some of them were tired, some of them were new. But there was something that was kind of bothering me. If you look at any kind of athletes, they hold the star field in their right hand and the red stripe in their left hand and they walk around like this. And when they wrap it around them, they wrap it around like this. Now you, sometimes you'll see the opposite for some strange reason where people will walk it around like this and hold it like this. But the correct way, and it seems like a lot of folks are taught this, for the press is to carry it around like this. But one of the things I was seeing was the students, not all of them, but some of them, and it just seemed to be by chance, were wearing the flag like this. Now anybody that knows anything about the American flag at least, this means you're in distress. And I was kind of amazed that high school students didn't know that. I cringe every time I see it and I really wanted to say something and I really didn't want to make a scene. I was chaperoning the band and so I had slightly higher priorities than correcting some teenagers that probably wouldn't care whether or not they were carrying a flag like this or the correct way like this. But they should care. The American flag can be a very divisive. Some people give it no care in the world and others have died for it literally trying to save it in all sorts of hard-fought campaigns. In fact, this flag here, that doesn't seem like much of anything, was a flag my grandfather flew at the end of World War II. This one we've had for a long time. I would like to think this was one of the first flags my kids had that are now much older teenagers. They flew it around in Norfolk during one of the 4th of July celebrations. This flag is a 48 star flag. You can tell by the hand sewn stars. And my wife found that for me as a gift in an antique shop down in Norfolk. The interesting thing about this is that it's nylon. I never knew there were 48 star flags that use nylon. When you think about when they stopped using this, that's when Hawaii and Alaska came on board. And that was in the 50s. This flag is near and dear to my heart for a whole bunch of reasons. First of all, it's a cloth flag, and it's a very old flag. It was made by Valley Forge flag, and I recovered this flag from a flag retirement ceremony. My kids were in the Scouts, and one of the things that the Scout Troop did is that they retired old flags. And this one I saw in the pile to be retired and I just couldn't let it happen. It's cloth, it's beautiful, and it shows no wear whatsoever. It's probably never been hung. All I can think of, based on its size, because it's very large, it's 100% cotton bunting. Is This probably was a flag that was on somebody's casket and given to a family member as the memento. So I really couldn't let this one go. This one here is very much a working flag. I've had it outside for years now. It's in really good shape, except for it's starting to fade. So I got this at Costco of all places, and it's just really held up well. I could probably use it for a couple more years. I went and bought a flag and I got this on the internet and supposedly it's an American flag so you can see the differences in color between a flag that's been around the block for a while and one that's brand spanking new. Now even though this is supposedly an American made flag it is the only flag that I have that doesn't have a label anywhere on it that says it's American. So I'm wondering if it's not an import. When I bought this flag, I was doing some research trying to find a really good one. For most of the manufacturers, 
have pretty good ratings. Maybe there's, you know, anywhere from two to four percent that are one stars. And a lot of times people are complaining that the flags, they put them up on a pole. And this one has four stitches on the end. So construction wise, it seems like a really high quality flag. The one with the one or two stars say, it barely lasted a month, barely lasts, you know, this, that, and the other. They're putting it on a 25 foot, 20 foot flagpole in high winds, and they're expecting it to survive. I can't imagine any flag, and no matter how good it is, is going to be able to survive high winds for too long. It, they're just not designed to do that. And so if you're so worried about your flag and, and making sure that it doesn't come apart, take it down in high winds. But if you want to keep it up, you're going to have to buy, probably buy more. I can't think of any flag, no matter how much it's made and what kind of material it's made out of, that's going to last a lot of whipping. The physics is just working against it. Now one of the things I couldn't find nowadays, or very difficult, is cloth bunting or some sort of poly material that looks more like cloth as opposed to this nylon. Pretty much everybody's just selling the nylon here. So you can see those are pretty good stars. They're a little different. Maybe slightly bigger than this. This is a three by five foot flag. This is a three by five foot flag. And I'll post down below where you can get some of these. So as a comparison, this is a flag that will run you anywhere from $25 to $10 on sale if you can get it. It's a pretty respectable flag. When I got this, at Costco with a pole, I paid $20 for it on sale. You probably have to pay $30 for a pole with a flag. This is an American made flag. It says on it right here. This is a no label flag, which concerns me because even though they say it's an American flag, there's no proof that there is. I was always under the impression that all American flags had to be made in America. But then after a little bit of research, I found out that that's not the case. Anybody can make an American flag. Any country, anywhere can make an American flag. For comparison purposes, I saw this flag at a Harbor Freight for $4.99 on sale. It was like half price. Usually it's $10. And given that it's Harbor Freight, I kind of can anticipate what and where this flag is made. And yes, it's made in China. Now the construction is pretty darn good. The stars look a little different. They're not as thick, they're a little thinner. And given some of the politics going on, some people won't like the fact that this was made in China. It's kind of ironic, China would be making American flags. It just kind of makes you wonder. So what do you think? Too much emphasis on the American flag? Is it a symbol of patriotism or overblown? Please post your comments below, but be polite because people feel strongly one way or the other. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in thought processes about designs or ideas, making and breaking stuff, designs of all kinds, I specifically design sports gear and photography equipment. And I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe. Because you never know. What you're going to see.